Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Ant-Man UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. In my previous episode, we looked at the red-haired Mesobarbarius colony, as well as discussing interesting facts about this species in Spain. Uh, if you haven't seen my previous video, just click the link in the top right and you can watch the last episode. Thank you. So guys, in today's episode, I'm going to be looking at how ants actually communicate with one another. When it comes to ants communicating, sometimes we could ask ourselves a few questions. We may be wondering how a ant colony would actually function with communication, how the ants are unable to talk to each other, um, their eyes obviously are no bigger than human eyes, so how do they communicate with one another? When we talk about communication, most uh, humans would probably associate this with speech, spoken language, uh, created by using our tongue and our mouth, which helps to tell a really good story. Uh, the communication between ants, however, is not quite as advanced as us humans, uh, but most people would probably agree that when they actually find how our ants communicate, it is pretty impressive. We know from experience that an ant colony can consist of several million worker ants. It's such a large society and it's a well organized machine when it's going. The ants always somehow solve barriers and other different ways, but what ways do they communicate to do this? When it comes to how the ants communicate, there is four main ways in which the ants use to communicate. The first one being body language, the second one being scent, pheromones, third one is touch, and the fourth one is sound. The ants' antennas are key for the ants' communication, as well as the help of pheromones, the smell. This can help with the colony activity and as well as territorial conquest. Through millions of years of evolution, the pheromone cocktail allows the ants to communicate with one another. They receive messages using their antennas, much like the same way a blind and deaf person would use their nose. Us humans currently don't know every scent in the world, however, we do know quite a bit about how the ant system works. For example, an ant colony would carry their own set of pheromones, their own smell, scent, and what this does, it makes the ants find out who is friend and who is foe. For a human, this uh, might seem a little bit odd, as ants can sort this out in just a matter of milliseconds. By using scent, this is possible, and it often comes in very handy. How ants communicate through motion and touch. It is clear that this is all really advanced stuff. For example, ants tend to lay out scent trails for food sources like breadcrumbs and it allows the other workers to find and follow the scent. When a single worker has found something they tend to run back to the colony whilst they are laying small drops of pheromones on the ground for other workers to follow. Through expanded research there is five different ways that ants can mix and vary these signals. When a worker ant from a colony reaches another worker ant from the same colony, she can tell it things by moving her body in certain ways, or simply just by touching their antennas. The other ant is then provided with a clear image of what they should be looking for at the end of the trail. If the first ant has found something like food, she will most likely give the ant a taste or a sample of it from her mouth. Ants can also communicate using body language. Just like as humans, the ants use body language to communicate about different things. The ants can tell each other by obviously slightly touching each other or stroking their antennas together. This way they can combine a signal of pheromones with the touch and body language. This provides an advanced form of communication. One example in particular with ants is when they lightly press a section of another ant's head in the colony. This produces what we call like a jaw reflex. It gives the other ants an opportunity to taste the diet of what the other ants has been eating. 
it's not uncommon for ants to save some of their food later on to help feed the other members of the colony. Do ants actually speak to each other? The short answer, or the quick answer, is yes. Another way that ants communicate is actually by sound. A wider range of different ant species can communicate using sound. Although, we humans probably would not hear this unless you have some super microphone, as it's very low resonated. The ants in the colony can produce different sounds. They do this by scraping the legs or body parts and this accomplishes the different sounds. Although us humans cannot hear it, other ants can. This uh, sound can actually be heard using a very sensitive microphone very close up to the ants. But if you want to try it, why don't you put an ant close up to your ear and listen very carefully. The sound of the ants can be used in a wide range of different ways. Depending on the type of ant species, a good example of this sound working would be when a worker ant becomes trapped somewhere in the colony. This could be due to a collapse of a tunnel or a chamber has become blocked or one of the exits has become blocked. The ants will use sound as a distress call, singling their location to the other workers in the colony. This is something that is used and cannot be used or achieved by using pheromones. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just as much as me. When I was making the video, or when I always make videos, I always research online to try and find out as much information I can before making a video. Now when it came to amp communication, I thought I knew it, but it turns out I've learned something new today about how hands communicate. It's been really interesting to learn about how hands use sound, pheromones, and other ways of communication. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. I'm a UK.